Now we will see about Langmuir derivation. Before deriving Langmuir equation, Langmuir has made some assumption. Depending upon that assumption, the derivation is easy. We will see what are those assumptions. First assumption he made was for an adsorbing species, there are fixed number of sites of adsorption. Fixed sites. For a given species, there are fixed number of sites of adsorption. That is the first assumption. Second, at maximum adsorption, means let's assume this is a charcoal particle, at maximum adsorption, the layer of gas which you found there is one molecule thick. That is, at maximum adsorption, let's say this is a charcoal particle, these are the gas molecules which are adsorbing. So when we got all the molecules adsorbed or at maximum adsorption of charcoal the layer which you found here is one molecule thick each small ring represent one molecule of gas so the layer is one molecule thick this is the second assumption third one rate of adsorption let's say r1 rate of adsorption is directly proportional to to get adsorbed, there should be some empty spaces. Then only the air uh, air molecule will get adsorbed on the adsorbing species. So rate of adsorption is directly proportional to number of sites unoccupied. The last assumption is rate of desorption is directly proportional. Desorption means reverse of adsorption. So molecules are getting out. Rate of desorption is directly proportional to number of sites for desorbed first you should have something adsorb then only it will desorb so rate of desorption is directly proportional to number of sites occupied these are the four assumptions made by Langmuir and something we need to know to carry out the derivation that is assume that theta is fraction of sites adsorb what I mean to say is theta is Fraction of sites absorbed means y by ym. In friendly equation, I said what do you mean by y? Y is amount of gas adsorbed per unit mass of adsorbent. Here ym is amount of gas adsorbed per unit mass of adsorbent when monolayer is formed. It means y is, I will write this in the form of diagram. Y means, assume this is a charcoal particle. These are the gas molecule adsorbing. And ym is, This thing is Y. Y is amount of gas. Gas amount adsorbed per unit mass of adsorbent is Y. And YM is amount of gas adsorbed when monolayer is formed. Okay. Y is amount of gas adsorbed per unit mass of adsorbent. That is Y. YM is amount of gas adsorbed per unit mass of adsorbent when monolayer is formed. That is your fraction. See it is a fraction something divided by total how much divided by total we call it as fraction what is the maximum value you get in a fraction that is one let us assume the maximum number of available sites is one total number of sites available is one fraction is occupied fraction is occupied sites so to know how many sites are available still available for adsorption that is total number of sites minus fraction adsorbed gives you number of sites unoccupied theta is y by ym theta means fraction of sites occupied so in fraction you get maximum value is 1 so total number of sites available is 1 1 minus that fraction occupied gives you number of sites or fraction of sites unoccupied that what I am writing here now by taking this basics, we will derive the equation for Langmuir. We will see the equation. Now this is the derivation for Langmuir. As I said, rate of adsorption is directly proportional. For the molecule to get adsorbed, there should be some empty spaces. So rate of adsorption is directly proportional to number of sites unoccupied, as I explained previously. And also it is directly proportional to pressure. For the gas molecules to get adsorbed, you should apply pressure. Then only the gas molecule will start 
adsorbing and the adsorbing species reason if you increase the pressure amount of gas adsorbed also increases so remove the proportionality constant put some constant let's say as k1 that is adsorption rate constant on minus theta p next is rate of desorption let's say it as r2 rate of desorption is directly proportional to for the molecule to desorb to go away first it has to get adsorbed number of sites occupied so rate of desorption is directly proportional to number of sites occupied here i'm not writing pressure because just leave the pressure the molecules will come out no need of application of pressure there. so remove the proportionality constant put some constant let's say it as desorption constant at equilibrium adsorption is equal to desorption so at equilibrium r1 is equal to r2 substitute what is r1 k1 1 minus theta p is equal to r2 is k2 theta multiply this you will get k1 p minus k1 theta p is equal to k2 theta now in this take theta common to take the theta common i have to rearrange the equation so when we rearrange the equation you will get k1 p send this on this side is equal to k2 theta plus k1 theta p now take theta as common so k1 p is equal to k2 plus k1 p whole theta now theta is equal to this one will go behind so k1 p by k2 plus k1 p now divide the right hand side of the equation with k2 numerator and denominator divide the right hand side numerator and denominator with k2 what we will get theta is equal to k1 by k2 p divided by k2 by k2 plus k1 by k2 p now it is a common here k2 k2 it will get cancelled now assume i already had told you theta means fraction of sides adsorbed y by y m and now assume k1 is rate constant of adsorption k2 is rate constant for desorption constant by constant let's assume some constant that as k1 by k2 is small b it is also a constant let us assume. assume theta is y by y m and k1 by k2 is b substitute in this equation you will get so substitute this in the above equation you will get theta is y by y m is equal to k1 by k2 is b p divided by k2 k2 get cancelled so we have 1 plus remaining k1 by k2 is b and p at this point you will get confusion to derive the equation to get pressure on x axis and to get amount of gas adsorbed on y axis we arrange the rearrange the equation so inverse the above equation inverse this equation what you will get if you inverse the equation you will get y m by y just write the opposite inverse it is equal to 1 plus b p divided by b p now take pressure this side and send y m this side so p by y is equal to 1 plus b p divided by this y m will come this side so b y m now take this multiply this b y m for both you will get p by y is equal to 1 by b y m plus b p by b y m cancel the common terms we have common here b and p so resultant equation will get p by y is equal to 1 by b by m plus p by y m this equation is called your langmuir equation if you plot the graph here so i said take nothing on x axis so take p on x axis 1 by y m will be on sorry if you take p on x axis whatever beside x is your slope this will be your slope and this will be the intercept and this will be your y axis what i am trying to write is y is equal to mx plus c so x is p whatever beside x we got slope that is 1 by y m is slope c is your 1 by b y m and y is y axis is p by y if you draw the graph p p by y you get a straight line the slope will be 1 by ym as we saw here slope is 1 by ym and the intercept 
where the graph will touch on the y axis intercept will be here 1 by b y m now by conducting the experiment and plotting the graph you can find out what is the value of b what is the value of y m I explain once again y means amount of gas adsorbed per unit mass of adsorbent that is this one how much gas is adsorbed per unit mass of adsorbent and ym is amount of gas adsorbed per unit mass of adsorbent when monolayer is formed when complete monolayer is formed what is the amount of gas adsorbed per that unit mass of adsorbent we call it as ym by this you can derive the langmuir equation easily Thank you.